I think I see something that glitters in the net. Serves me right. Next time I'd better mind my own business. Catching it fresh is okay, but that's a bit excessive. Unfortunately, I wasn't that good in art history. He's painting two ships on the open sea, maybe during a battle. Good God! Who goes there, prithee? My name is Manny. Manny Calavera. Yeah, I mean, I am the Grim Reaper. I didn't want to scare you, Mr. Manet. Your reputation precedes you, you know. Well, you flatter me. But now, enough with the pleasantries. That's not why I'm here. I guess my time has come. Correct. But not entirely accurate. I could give you a second chance. Anything. But spare my life. I beg you. Add me to your painting, then. In the sea, possibly large and highly visible. But that's a preposterous demand. It would be completely disproportionate. Not to mention that it would absolutely ruin the scene's pathos. Do I take that as a no, then? Forgive me, Grim Reaper. You'll have your wish. Jumanji, a game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind. Surely life in the wardrobe ain't easy, but it's better than living in the jungle. I'm almost tempted to leave the first roll of the dice to you. Please, remind me how time travel works, and this time, try to be succinct. You must insert the d destination date in the dial. You c can't travel into the future. After a journey, you're forced to c come back to the pr present before leaving on the next one. You c can't stray too far from the machine. And above all, you must never interfere with the space-time continuum. I'll come back later. See you then. Not bad. Now you really have an aggressive look. I have to admit it, I'm really pumped for it. Do you think you can sing a metal song now? Which one do you want to hear? Do you know Knockin' on Ronald's Door by Plums and Roses? Mm, I don't think I've ever heard of it, sadly. But the title reminds me of something. Do you know Livin' on a Wardrobe by Bones Jovi? I know the band, but not that song. Do you know Born to be Rot by Steppin' Nut? Never heard of it. Do you know The Power of Death by Skinny Goes to Hollywood? Wasn't it The Power of Love? That was a song from the Back to the Future soundtrack. I, I don't know the name of it, but do you know a song that goes like this? Oh yes, I get it. I love that song. Are you ready? <laughs> this time I really messed up big time.
an essential item in every amateur explorer's kit. The writer must have forgotten this. Automatic lighting system activated. What ugly mugs. Speak for yourself. Did I just imagine it, or did that head say something? Nothing at all. Very good. For a moment, I thought I'd gone mad. How can you expect me to talk to some heads in brine? They must have uttered their last words a long time ago now. Too bad that doesn't apply to you, too. All this pointing and clicking stresses me out. I should absolutely take a vacation sooner or later. I have the vague impression that someone here lost their inspiration. I didn't know how to name him. Am I right? You didn't know how to name what? You. It's your name. No, I have no name. Maybe it's precisely because your parents didn't know how to name you. Hmm, perhaps. So I'm right. That's your name. I already told you it's not my name. You should get yourself in shape again. Why do you say that? Maybe because you can't even get out of your burial plot? I just put myself on a diet. I haven't touched a pizza in weeks. Only because he devoured the Aram Boy too, last time. What happened to your arm? I was too hungry, and I bit it. It must have really hurt. But it was good. I'm assuming you're a cannibal, then. I make no distinction when there's food involved. You don't mean to try to eat me too, right? If they were all like you, I'd have starved to death by now. Actually, you're right. I'm going out for a walk. Maybe you can join me later, okay? Black magic for daily consumption. There must be a reason it's been here for so many years without anyone picking it. 1861. Pretty self-explanatory, I'd say. It certainly cannot be said that they lived quiet times in the deep ocean. I can suggest a good beautician, if I may. So elegant. God, what's that terrible smell? You must absolutely take a bath. Grab this. Pretty Bones, listen. Can we talk when you stop smelling like that? Chapter 1. Witchcraft. How to curse your mother-in-law and live happily. Capture a wild animal to associate with the victim. 80% of readers pick a toad or a snake. Wait for midnight and the moonlight to baptize the animal with her name. Free your mother... I mean, the animal. In open country, your beloved acquired mummy will thus lose the power of speech. Remove the earplugs and enjoy the new silence. Achtung! Unfortunately, the above-mentioned witchcraft is not effective on wives and husbands. Chapter 2. Seances. How to satisfy your edible complex even if your mother left you. 
Sit around a table with other people who want to communicate with your dead mother. Therefore, avoid inviting your wife. Light up a wax candle in the center of the table. Create a circle, holding hands or touching with the pinkies. At this point, close your eyes and evoke the dead towards you. Some dead people don't like to talk, so prepare an alternative medium like a pen or a typewriter. Octung. Always remember to avoid antagonizing the dead if you want to communicate with her once again, but mostly avoid antagonizing your wife. Chapter 3. Voodoo Practices. How to get revenge on the school bullies while keeping your distance. Recover some hair or nail samples from the concerned bully and attach it to a doll. Then place a voodoo doll in the center of a pentacle. Close your eyes and channel your hate on the bully. Imagining him with his head in the toilet increases the chance of success. If the ritual is successful, the doll will assume the features of the designated victim. Grab a needle or some pins to stick into the voodoo doll. Enjoy your revenge. Aktung. Don't damage the doll by removing its limbs or head. Keep out of reach of children. Chapter 4. Love Potions. How to get out of the friend zone and overcome restraining orders. Acquire a photo of your future love. You shouldn't have problems after so many years of stalking. Dip some rose petals and cloves in a water and red wine solution. Bring the mixture to a boil. After cooling, drink the love potion you just completed. Wait comfortably at home for his or her arrival. Aktung. Always remember to take proper precautions. Okay, negative thoughts. Nothing easier, all because of how easily I can project my complete hate of other people. Let's just hope this is the right time. What do you want? The bedroom on the upper floor is empty now, as promised. Really? I'm calling my gang now. Be still, her. Take the guys and go to the dump. Don't waste my time. I don't care what you do now. It's all fixed. Go now. Hanky Panky Room is ready. Wow, they couldn't control themselves any longer. Somebody here seriously needs some Xanax. Everything okay? We'll never know what goes on in that little alien head of his. He looks like the school bully who always pounded on me. No freaking way! There must be a serious lack of good players in this city. It's all ready. We can get started. Where do you want us to take it? Friday Avenue, number 13. Do you have any idea how far that is from here? We're heading to the party. 
The best we can do is take it over there. I'll settle for that. Do you hear that? Let's move. Not until I find a way to get it to Ronald's new home. There's hardly anything left to play with. Inside there are just apple seeds, but if you really want them... Hey, honey, look what I have for you. <laughs> Suddenly, it doesn't inspire all that much fear in me anymore. So, you were a carnivorous plant guard. 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That is when the world will end. A storm is coming. That explains the bullhorns. <laughs> Further proof of the high esteem the fairer sex holds for rabbits. I can't even imagine what it would say if it had the gift of speech. Cool your jets. They seem to be wedding rings. Gross! 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 There's still someone who insists on playing hide-and-seek? Certain people just don't want to grow up. What are you doing hiding down there? How do I put this? I may have gotten myself in serious trouble. Who exactly is looking for you? This room is a continuous coming and going of couples. Actually, everyone. Let's just say that I've screwed up a bit too much recently. You have all my respect. Sometimes the best thing to do is not ask any questions. The color would match the one on my sweater, too. I'm obviously joking. Forget it.
I'm only required to wear the Mickey Mouse ears, as per my contractual obligation. Am I right, developers? He's even scarier life-sized. I'm afraid the opposite could happen. I like to be hugged. Sorry, Charles, but you can't just add me to your collection. The perks of being already dead. <laughs> your firecrackers or your life? <laughs> Do you think you can scare someone dressed like that? Not even a fly. Now that I notice, I've never seen a more ridiculous Halloween costume. Really awful. <laughs> I'm afraid I will just have to come up with something else. Nowadays, our generation is too desensitized by TV and video games. Thanks a lot, HBO.